Hi! This is a new video where we talk about awesome.NET MAUI community libraries. With different effects, transitions, and animations, we can convey the feeling of continuity, a state of data loading, or a feeling of smoothness in general. For this reason, mastering and correctly manage animations in our application is really important. Create animations in a simple way, both from T-sharp code and from channel code, being able to add animations when data is loading or when scrolling, for example, it's important. We will see all this and more today talking about a library that I know very well because I created Aloha Kit Animations. Let's see it. So let's talk about Aloha Kit Animation. This library designed for Donet Maui Dimes to facilitate the use of animations to developers. The main goal is uh, to, to allow a simple use of animations from Fisher code and also from Shamel code. So as always, let's start seeing how we can use the, the, the library. And then we are going to take a quick look in the code of the library to see how it works. So to use the library, the library is available on Nugget package using the alohakit.animations package with the 1.0 version once we include it. So let's see it running on the sample included in the library. We have predefined animations to do bone scene, fade animations, flip animations, rotate animations, scale animations, translate animations, turn style animations, shake animations, breathing animations, jumping animations, and transform color animations. Then we have the concept of storyboards. And storyboards is a really interesting concept. A storyboard can, con can contain uh, chill animations and allow to manage which animation is uh, fired first and you know manage all the timing and everything related with the different animation that contains. So we can create an animation that scale and then, for example, do a shake, etc., etc. We have also extensions that allow to launch animations from feature code in a easy way. And we can have different options to manage the animations, like delayed animations and launch animation after some seconds, or do a repeat forever or during some time an animation. We can, of course, manage all the sequel, start, stop, etc. We have triggers, so we can invoke some animations when uh, some events or some property chains. For example, we can use launch animation, changing, for example, the rotation, the scale, the font size, etc. when uh, an entry, for example, take the focus. And again, we can use launch this another animations, set of animations when the contour lost the focus. This is really powerful. And then the progress animation is really interesting because we can create progressive animations, for example, when something happens. Based on a value, for example, based on the scroll value, we can use change, for example, the color based on the scroll position or the translation of uh, the header based also on the scroll position. In this way, we can create, for example, um, sticky headers, we can create some smooth scrolling animations, etc. etc. Now, let's take a look in how we can use the animation. We have seen before that we have it available in the Aloha Kit animations nugget package. Once we include the package in our application, we can create the Aloha Kit animations namespace, Aloha Kit animations, and then we can create predefined animations like this in this way. Aloha Kit dot, bouncing animation, bounce out animation, fade to animation, flip, rotate, etc. We have access to a big amount of predefined animations. And in all the case, we can set the target, that is the view where we are going to attach the animation and some basic properties like, for example, the duration, etc. This is common to all the different kind of predefined animations, but then based on some specific uh, case, we have more properties. For example, in the rotate to animation, we can set the rotation or in the scale to animation, we can set what the target scale that, that we want, right? Then we have, for example, in the translate to animation, what is the target translate in the X and A position? So. This is all the first set of uh, predefined animation that we have seen. To trigger these animations, we are using, for example, an event trigger, 
with the begin animation and accessing to the define animation. Then we have more complex case where we can define, for example, a set of animations using a storyboard. And a storyboard, again, can set the target and can manage some basic properties related with animation, but can contain different animation. In this case, we'll trigger first the scale to animation, and after that, we'll continue with the shake animation. We can delay animations with the delay property, or we have different options to repeat the animation during some time or forever. Then we have more complex scenarios, like for example, let's go to the trigger sample here. So we have with the trigger, based on different properties, for example, when the is focused property is true, we can just animate all the kind of properties. We have options to animate colors, dobers. We can options to animate double properties, color properties, in properties, etc., etc. The only thing that we need is the target property. For example, to animate a dober with the font size, for example, an entry dot font size to the goal, to the target that we want to get. For example, in this case, 24 or the text color. In this case, we are animating a color, etc., etc. In this way, from Shaml in a easy way, based on property chains or chain song events, etc., we can use animate easily song stuff. And then we have, you know, the progress animations. For example, in this case, we are using a scroll view behavior that is exposing all the base properties from the scroll view, like what is the scroll eye position, what is the offset, etc., etc. Based on this, for example, with the header, with the match, we are animating the scroll eye property from a minimum of zero to maximum 200 from the value zero to 100. So for example, we are animating from zero to 200. So for example, when the scroll eye position is 100, the translation of the match will be 50. So we are animating from 0 to 200 from a value from 0 to 100. Maybe we can see another sample to understand this better. In this case, we are animating a color. It's similar. We are taking the scroll eye position from 0 to 200. So in this way, we are changing the value from dark to red little by little while we are changing the color. For example, in 200 will be red and from 0 to 200 we are just changing the color little by little right in this way we can create progressive effects with progressive animations the library is created used with a composition of behavior triggers and exposing different animations so we are exposing triggers to animate all the different kind of properties dober integers thickness corner radius etc and we have also behaviors that allow to animate, again, progressive doubles, thickness, corner radius, etc. The main trigger is beginning animation that is just receiving an animation and will begin it. And then we have a set of animations. Like, for example, let's see a simple one like fading that have, you know, the opacity property and all the properties inherited from an animation based class that at the end have a begin animation method where we are doing use you know, the fading animation. This is available in all the animations and allow us easily to create all custom animations inheriting from animation-based class. And then the storyboard is a little bit more complex. It's just a collection of animation that will just invoke one by one based on the order in the collection. So Aloha Kit Animation is an interesting library allowing us to create, to have uh, the typical predefined animations that we can use in our applications, allowing us to manage uh, the state of the animation and triggering it from feature code and shamel code in a easy way, and also some interesting triggers, extensions, and options to trigger different animations also from shamel code and from feature code in a easy way, and create also progressive animation. I hope this library has been interesting for you. Share the result if you use it in your application. If you have any doubts or questions or you want to share which library you would like me to talk about in upcoming videos, 
leave a comment in this video. See you soon with more content. Bye.